Hey guys, this lesson's on how to find the electric field at a point in space due to a single dipole. Okay, so uh, let's look at a question like this. So, in a question like this, we're, uh, or uh, in this one, we'll be finding electric field at two points at A, where it's perpendicular to the dipole, and at B, where it's parallel to the dipole. So, to a question like this, we should, we have to give um, this charges some arbitrary, uh, charge, so we can figure this out, let's just say 5 nanocoulombs. And when I say 5 nanocoulombs, uh, these will uh, be equal to each other. So this will be negative 5 nanocoulombs, and this will be positive. So usually we just say 5 nanocoulombs equals Q, because that will be the charge. Um, okay, so I guess let's do A first. Um, well, first let's write down the formula for of a, uh, the E field uh, perpendicular to a dipole equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times Q, which is charge, S, which is this distance be, uh, between the two particles in the dipole, over R cubed, which is the distance. So, actually let's also give S a unit so that we can figure it out. The distance between these, we'll just say it's 0.002 meters or 2 nanometers. So uh, to find it A first, uh, let's just uh, plug all these in. So uh, this constant here is always 9e to the 9th newtons meters squared per coulomb squared. Q is uh, again 5 nanocoulombs, which we have to convert to coulombs. So this will be 5 e to the negative ninth coulombs. S, which is our distance between the two dipoles, in this case is 2 nanometers, which we have to convert to meters, but it's already in meters right here. So 0 0.002 meters. And all that over the distance cubed. Now the distance here is 0.1 uh, meters, so it's already in our standard unit, so we just have to say 0.1 cubed. And once we calculate this all out, it'll end up equaling, uh, you know, you can practice your algebra, get this down, uh, your E perpendicular will be 90 newtons per coulomb. Okay, and sometimes the trick with these questions are figuring out which direction this is pointing. So, to find out the direction of this, we should uh, use the superposition uh, formula. So, we know that positive charges, the E fields push away, and the negatives push towards the E field. So, um, we just have to treat these as two separate things. So, that our positive, we kind of pushing it at an angle like that. So, this is like the E field due to our positive. And this is the e, and we also have an E field due to our negative, which will be pulling towards the negative. So, it'll be like this. So, in other words, it'll be a net our net E field will be both of these combined. So this right here, this arrow right here, will be our net E field. So our E field will be this way. This will be, so uh, at point A, this arrow, 90 newtons per coulomb. And that'll be our E field at point A. Okay, so uh, let's do the same uh, and figure out B. Now B, uh, finding the E field perpendicular, or I mean uh, parallel, the formula is almost the same. It's just E parallel equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times Q, which is charge again, times S, which is the distance from here again, times 2, just 2, over R cubed again. So, uh, you probably noticed that this, these are pro about the same, or they are the same, except for this is times two. So uh, you could just uh, naturally just take this and multiply by two and figure out the answer right here is 180 or 100, yeah, 180 newtons per coulomb, and uh, that'll work. That'll give you your answer. Since, um, but remember, it only works because these happen to be the same distances away. This happens to be 0.1 meter, and this happens to be 0.1 meter. If this was uh, shorter, like here, uh, like 
0 0.05 meters, it would be uh, a different uh, um, number. But since these are the same distances away, then um, it'll just be times two. But you know, if you want to do your uh, exercise your algebra skills and multiply this out times Q, which is five e to the negative ninth again coulombs times s, which is point zero zero two uh, meters. I didn't put the meters in. Whatever times two. All that over point one meters cubed, and that will give you one hundred and eighty newtons per coulomb and that'll be your answer and this um, the direction of this one is remember let's use the superposition again to figure out which way everything's pointing so we know our negative points toward and our positive points away and um, they kind of cancel each other out but not totally because since the positive is closer and we know that the closer it gets to something the stronger the e-field is so our E field due to our negative will look something like this. It's probably a lot bigger than it actually is, but um, so it'll look something like that. But our positive will be pushing away, so it'll be something like this. So they'll kind of cancel each other out, but there'll still be a negative or a, a net E field pointing towards it. So um, our E field will look like uh, this. Imagine this arrow over here. It's just I had to draw it because there's too much clutter over there. So this will be the direction of it. Um, and the magnitude of it will be 180 uh, newtons per coulomb. And remember, if this was reversed and this was the positive and this was the negative, then it would be pushing more this way. So then, in that case, the arrow would be pointing that way. And that's how you do a problem like this. I uh, hope you learned a lot. Uh, my next lesson will be on finding uh, electric field and point in space with uh, two dipoles. So uh, if you need help with that, I'll leave a link in the sidebar.